uh, where we are the largest uh, and AI ready data center uh, in uh, Eastern Central Africa. So we have a plan to build a 22 and a half megawatt uh, facility, uh, very strategically located in Nairobi, close to the airport, uh, where uh, security is, uh, is paramount. Uh, but we also located where uh, the fiber routes are passing, uh, coming from um, the submarine cables that land in Mombasa, uh, going all the way to, to Uganda. Um, so yeah, when we spoke last, we were just uh, about uh, uh, going live. Um, and over the last 12 months, uh, uh, when we have been live, um, we are currently serving our customers uh, in the first building, which is called uh, uh, NBO uh, X1. Um, and then when we build our uh, next uh, building, it will be NBO X1.2. Uh, um, and then when we go to our second site, um, that will be then NBO X2, which uh, uh, is uh, currently located in a place called Limuru, uh, around 30 kilometers from where we are, uh, where we have um, uh, 11 acres and we have designed to build uh, 53 megawatts uh, in, in that facility. Um, so yeah, in uh, uh, NBOX1, um, um, we've been busy building uh, our uh, ecosystem, uh, especially with our connectivity clients. Uh, because uh, we are a carrier neutral uh, data center and that's very important uh, to show that uh, neutrality so 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 far we have uh, you know more than 20 networks um, that are on board uh, with us and, and that uh, ecosystem will continue growing uh, we have um, uh, two of the largest uh, internet exchanges with us uh, so one is the the kenya internet exchange uh, which is the legacy internet exchange uh, uh, serving um, uh, our country. Uh, and then we were the, the hub uh, to bring um, uh, links, which is the London internet exchange, which is one of the largest uh, exchanges in the world. So they're also on board. Um, we have been building a whole host of uh, our uh, enterprise clients. Um, and we, we have a growing um, uh, clientele of uh, uh, some of the financial services or so banks that are now on board, um, which is showing uh, the, the trust that they, they put um, into uh, an institution like, like ours um, uh, for, for you know, interesting uh, us with uh, their IT infrastructure, their, their sensitive data, uh, et cetera. Um, uh, and then um, uh, last month, we also announced a strategic partnership with uh, Safaricom, uh, which is the largest uh, telco uh, in, uh, in East Africa. Um, uh, where uh, we have an ambition uh, to, to jointly uh, market to clients uh, where Safaricom can use uh, its brand, uh, its relationships with uh, uh, a lot of its uh, corporate customers um, uh, and uh, 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 put them on uh, a world-class uh, data center like, like ours. Uh, and as you know, for a company like Safaricom who is selling airtime, they're selling financial services, uh, you know, running data centers is not their their uh, core business, so they've entrusted uh, an, an expert like ours to do that. Um, and then um, uh, some of the discussions that we've been having with the hyperscalers, uh, those are now starting to come to fruition, and uh, um, there have been a couple of announcements of the hyperscalers coming into this market. Um, yeah, I was talking about uh, the hyperscaler clients uh, who have made announcements uh, to come into this market, uh, you know, starting with Oracle, who announced um, that they'll be bringing a sovereign cloud uh, into the country to host uh, government workloads. Uh, and then Microsoft made a big announcement uh, to invest a billion dollars uh, into Kenya uh, to bring their regional cloud zone here um, uh, and then to you know, address uh, customers for their data sovereignty needs um, and also for latency needs. Uh, uh, because you know, currently in Africa, the, the only uh, regional sort of zone deployment they have is currently in South Africa and after South Africa, uh, basically Kenya and Nigeria were seen as the, the next uh, uh, frontiers. Um, and yeah, we're, we're glad to say that, you know, we are in, um, in, in, in discussions to, to finalize um, with some of those players uh, to come uh, actually onto our, our data center. Um, and then, um, you know, in terms of AI, so uh, we are the only data center currently who can uh, host the AI workloads, which, you know, the the, the GPUs from NVIDIA, et cetera, 
Um, they require very high power density. So, um, you, you know, we've uh, run tests and, uh, you know, we can uh, uh, power the, these uh, servers um, that require, uh, you know, as much as like 50 kilowatts uh, per uh, per rack. Uh, and, you know, that compares to uh, the, the normal servers that are used by enterprise clients, you know, requiring probably uh, three to five uh, kilowatts uh, per, per rack. 